Right then, Year 7, so I'm going to show you now how we're going to be creating our isometric drawings using our own names. Now, for my example on here, I've used my surname, but for yourselves, you can choose to use your first or surname, whichever one you'd like to do. Now, see my initials are M-O-R-R-I-S, and you can see M-O-R-R. Now, I've only repeated the R once, there's no room to repeat it again, so on there, just the once, then the I and the S. Once you've got those letters all standardized to the same measurements, obviously 50 by 30, and you've got them all standardized, then you're ready for the next section. So I'm going to pop that to one side for the moment, and I've got a nice clean sheet here of A3 paper. I'm going to take a ruler and pencil, and the first instance is I'm going to pop a nice diagonal line across my surface. Now, because this is temporarily uh, on the paper, I just want to make sure it's nice and light. I don't want to do any permanent lines as we speak, so just a very, very faint line all the way across the side. Then I'm going to place my letters underneath. Now Morris is a one, two, three, four, five, six letter word. So I know that I need to be central about here. Okay, so M O R R I S. So it's got to fit perfectly on my sheet. I'm going to bob these in now, thereabouts on the line, and each corner of my letter is going to meet on the horizontal. Uh, sorry, the diagonal line that's going on here. Okay, so I can just about make up my R. You'll have to press on fairly hard. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp and ruler's nice and steady. I'm going to start mapping in my letters. Now, designers often use isometric paper to get the shapes right first, and then they'll go on to trace these through. Now, I do this by dotting the corners of my edges. You can just see me there just adding some dots in over here. I know the top of my R's here, that's there. I know that in my R there's a light, slight indent, so I'm going to very loosely sketch that. And of course, I'm going to go a bit firmer over with my ruler to make some definite lines like this, like this, and across. I'm going to work today and showing you how to do the R, and then later on, I'll go on to the alternative letters. You can just see them being made down there. In the center of the R, there's another shape there, so I'm going to add that in. And then finally that one across. And then on that one, across like that. And on that one, across like that. Up there, and across, and across. And again, I can neaten these off as I go along. The next stage on there would be for me to do my other letter down here. So M-O-R-R-I-S. So there's going to be another R here. There'll be an I and an S up there. So I'm going to move in my paper slightly around here. I'm going to fit in my second R. Keep the gaps between your letters standardized, as we've spoken about this before. There's a lovely gap there, and again, I go around and trace that over. So again, marking in the corner points of all my vertices, bobbing down the straight lines, and again, I can work over these afterwards once I've got those traced through. And that is it for the moment. So I'm going to pause there. Just remember that you're mapping out your letters of your first name or surname, either or. And again, when you come into this final piece, you want your marks to be nice and neat and accurate. And if you're not quite sure, press on gently at first. And then of course, you can go over using a harder pencil. Good.